All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one, I'm in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. And uh, this one is going to be a quick hit, straight to the point. It says, now all these things happened unto them for an examples. And they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Now, what is Apostle Paul speaking about when you read from the first verse? Okay, he's getting into the uh, ignorance and wicked nature of Israel, you know, in the wilderness. Where, you know, it was said that Yahweh Shai was destroying them. Okay, because they were wicked. So, we just, you know, jumped all that to get into this point. And remember, this is a quick hit, so you can read from the first verse to get more understanding. It says, uh, now all these things happen unto them for an examples. So everything happens for an example. You know, we got to take these scriptures and apply it, you know, into our, you know, mind, body, and soul. Okay? And, and, and really, truly eat it because you have to think upon these scriptures in this present life of what we're going what we're gonna go through or what we're going through. Alright? It says, Now all these things have happened unto them for an example. So everything happens for an example. It says, and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Now that word admonition gets just gets into a warning. Alright, so and they are written for our warning upon whom the ends of the world are come. And we're, in, we're at the ends of the world, the end of the world, which is a, a age. I believe the word is uh, eon, all right, a rulership age. We're at the end of the rulership or the end of the age of Esau's kingdom, okay? So it says, verse 12, Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth, taketh heed, lest he fall. So every one of us uh, uh, of the hopeful elect, okay, that believe in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, we have to think, okay, excuse me, we have to take heed, okay, take heed to what is written, okay, and that goes for all the Israelites, especially, you know, if you woke up to this truth and you are part of the circumcision and it says, wherefore, let him that think if he stand, what do you stand? You think you standing in the truth? Take heed, lest you fall, right? Now, verse 13, it says, there have no temptation taken you. But such is common to man. All right. So there's nothing new under the sun that haven't been done. All right. That's why they say history repeats itself. Okay. Because what happened in the past happens in the future. But this time. All right. The Lord is going to do something new. Which is deliver the Israelites in the ways of his chariots. Okay. To, to uh, activate the new covenant. To change our bodies. To make us perfect. All right, to actually take over this world and and uh and and rule it in righteousness under Yahweh Shai. So that's new. But the troubles, the tribulation, okay, the hatred that everyone has toward the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord, there's nothing new. Okay, men being uh well let's say facing death, being put to death, that's nothing new. Okay, so it says, there have no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. So everything that happens to us, it happened to another brother. Okay, we all have different lots. We all have different measures of faith. And Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai knows how to guide our steps. So it says, but Yahweh is faithful, who is not, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able so there's nothing that we're going to go through that we can't handle, you know, and it's going to take great faith, understanding, you know, don't be, oh, ye of little faith, be of, oh, ye of great faith. This is why, you know, our apostles teach us to study and learn, you know, because you truly have to eat this role, you know, know, know the scriptures, man. You know, apostles say all the time, man, a lot of guys don't really know what they into. And that's so true. You know, guys, I see it, you know, and I'm a young man in the truth, and I see it, you know, where guys are just being Israelites because it's something to do, 
You know, guys not putting away the old man, being niggas. You know, guys want to be celebrities in, in this truth. You know, du dudes are doing it for vainglory. You can clearly see it. You know, you got women not real. They claim to be Israel and they automatically think they just got to wrap their hair, you know, and sell uh, Hebrew products. It's crazy, man. So anyway, it says, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able? And who is that? That would be the Lord's elect, okay? Because the rest of the two-thirds, okay, they're going to be destroyed, okay? They're going to be destroyed by these stormtroopers and ultimately by the thermonuclear fire when the Lord, you know, destroys this place called Babylon the Great, okay, and, uh, and around the world because there's going to be other places that's, you know, going to be destroyed but not on the magnitude and level of Babylon, all right? Because this trouble is coming upon all the world, all right? So it says, uh, uh, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be, a that ye may be able to bear it. So there's always a way, you know, that the Lord has, you know, even when it seems, you know, you you you're you're probably at the point of dying. There's always a way out. It's a way to escape. Even, you know, you your your spirit leaving your flesh because Esau, you know, put you to death. You fulfilling the uh prophecy of um uh being beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. Guess what? You escaped. Okay, because you're going straight up into the chariots first to receive your bodies, waiting upon your brothers who are left alive. You know, to, to be gathered up together, you know, and guess what? You bring you're coming right back. That's going to take what? Oh, ye of great faith. And it's going to take you to study, to understand that. All right. The Lord's going to have to give you faith. Remember Ephesians, what is it? Two and eight. He said, uh, faith is a gift from the most high, you know? So a lot of things we say in the scriptures and you may not understand because you knew is you're going to have to pray. Okay. And you have to study, you know, study with balance, you know, eat with balance and pray to grow. Pray for more understanding. OK, you know, not everybody is going to be an 11 o'clock Israelite, you know, even though we know there's going to be um, those who wake up in that last hour. Because why? Seeing the miracles being done, they're going to just believe, you know. So let me read it one more time. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful. All right. He ain't talking about your woman. He's talking about the most high. Okay. Yahweh, he's faithful. It says, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So he knows exactly what we can handle and what we can't. He knows how to deliver us from the ways of evil. Okay. It says, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it because everything is done for an example. OK, you know, you're like your brother and, you know, say uh, this happens where, you know, you, you get hemmed up, brought into concentration camp, prison house, whatever you detain. And, you know, you, you settling with yourself to say, you know, fuck it. It is what it is. Hey, may your help watch me. I was shy, you know, deliver me and you hold in your integrity. And then guess what? All of a sudden, you know, you breaking up out of there. The Lord give you powers or there's a way to escape. You know, there's plenty of accounts that happen with Paul and Silas and many other prophets, you know, I believe Peter, you know, when the angel just opened up the gate and he walked out, he walked out, man, and got away and started teaching again, you know, so. There's nothing too hard for the Lord, okay? And uh, all this, uh, oh, ye of little faith, you know, you got to pray to have greater faith. You know, none of us brothers could give you faith. We could only teach you the scriptures, and the Most High have to, you know, have the angel unlock your mind and, and seal you, you know? So the men of the Lord are just messengers, man, all right? Teaching the truth with sincerity. So I hope this lesson was edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.